Hey guys, SHOT Show 2020 here at the range on PFP TV Showtime. We're talking with at the Brownells booth here and Paul's gonna tell us some stuff about that. Paul, thanks so much for coming yeah, on board. No problem, no problem. Oh, yeah, right. so uh, this year we've got, everybody's pretty familiar with the BRM 180s ro rolled out, the reimagining of the Air 180 uh, that fits on an Air 15 lower receiver. Uh, so this year, instead of just having a fit on an AR-15 standard lower receiver, we have our own lower receivers for it. Uh, the main difference there, they, they take AR-15 components, triggers, selectors, that sort of thing. Uh, but at the rear, there's no accommodation for a buffer tube. So it's just a straight pick rail. So you can attach your brace, your stock, allow it can fold. You don't have to worry about a buffer tube or any recoil mechanism. So it's a pretty handy setup for those guys that have the BRN 180 upper. Gotcha. So the lower receiver, Yep. how much is it? MSRP? Uh, so that, there's two versions. There's one that's billet aluminum, looks like a modern AR-15 lower, that's $149.99. And then we have one that's forged, that's styled like the original AR-180. So it's got the classic AR-180 magwell contours, that sort of thing. And that's $129.99. Gotcha. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it has a picatinny rail on the back. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that one does too. It has a picatinny rail, and you're gonna see uh, later in the week we have some prototype uh, stocks that are styled like the original 180. That's really that cool. That fold using a, a robust mechanism. Uh, ah. So you get that if you want that complete 180 look, uh, but it's still quite functional. It's a robust fixed stock. Yeah. Uh, that's a good way to go. And these are some of the fiberglass stocks, right? The, or the, the fiberglass uh, yeah, polymer, what were so they? So if you imagine, if you remember the original 180, kind of had that tapered butt stock, but then folded. It's yep. that, it's those same contours, and it's like an A1 length of pull. So it's not a crazy, like, not crazy, but an A2 length of pull a lot of people don't like. It's that shorter length of pull. And then you can just fold that to the side, and then you get a very compact pack for travel, that sort of thing. Because previously, just had the upper receiver. Yep, yep. And so previously, retro guys, you know, you'd have like a half AR 180. Yeah. And so now you can almost have the whole thing yeah. in a retro. We're never going to make the original AR 180. It's stampings. It's expensive. But we're we're trying to have components that are functional uh, for a modern shooter. Yet for those guys that really uh, feel attachment to that AR 180 or really enjoy it, uh, they can have these, and it's pretty darn close. Question with the pistol grip. I'm forgetting right now, but the pistol grip of the originals, is there any attempt to replicate that? Because it's different from the. Uh, yeah, the, the attachment mechanism has more of a slope to it, uh, so we're not replicating that. So most guys will probably opt for our A1 grips, but you can throw a, a current production beaver grip on it or something like that. There's a lot of grips on the market that will probably look pretty similar. And also talk to us about your precision rifle stuff. Yeah, so we came out with uh, the match precision optics last year. Uh, we have a 3 to 18, a 5 to 25. We source those straight out of Japan, so we can pass them along to you guys for a pretty reasonable price. First focal plane, we have our own reticle system. Uh, uh, Nomer, non-obscuring milling, milling reticle. Uh, what that means is the vertical and horizontal lines have a space. So when you're on full magnification, you can still make out your target so your reticle doesn't cover up the target if you need to adjust up. Uh, and then when you're uh, all the way out on your magnification, it's first focal plane, a lot of reticles are super tiny and yep. they're not usable. Whereas on this, it stays somewhat thick because of the dual lines. So that's pretty nice. So since we've got those optics, which are targeted towards that precision rifle shooter, uh, we've got a lot more products in our catalog for that market. We've got some barreled actions, or we've got actions and we've got barreled actions. Uh, we have a setup from Area 419. It's a defiance action. Bartland barrel, cut rifle, their muzzle device, all assembled by AR-419, a variety of caliber, 6.534, 6mm. Um, so you could purchase that barreled action, drop it into a chassis, and build a precision rig, which might cost you a lot more from a custom gunsmith, and you can do it in your house. Gotcha. And these aren't, just to be much to, so, so viewers aren't confused or whatever, these aren't full rifles. They're no, still working It's kind of the classic right? Brownells thing. You can go to our site, you piece together your kind of dream setup, your dream rifle, uh, get all the components over time or in one splurge uh, and build it yourself. So we could build certain precision rifles, but guys want very unique setups for that. They have their personal taste, so we're just providing the uh, options. Gotcha. And how, what's the uh, prices for that? Uh, I believe that Area 419 barreled action is like 1800 We do have a lot of actions now on the site uh, from, say, Defiance uh, and others that are more around that 1000 And we're always looking to add more just strip, like, Remington-style actions to our catalog. Of course, we have the How actions if you wanted to get, get into a bolt gun cheap and build from there. And you can get those for, geez, 360 bucks or so. And available yeah. right now. Yeah, those are on the site now. Sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Well, Paul, thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah, thanks, Miles. Absolutely. Yep. We'll see you on the show floor, right. and uh, hope you guys have a successful year. Yeah, thanks. Sounds good. Cool.